Hey, it's Chris from the Charity Board Gamer. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Sea Shanties from Pleiade Games. The Charity Board Gamer! Open up the box. Take a look. Alright, so we got basic rule book. Got a little background about the story of the game. Really nicely done. Alright, here we've got these little things. These are ballad cards. Alright, little game pieces. These little bags. Dials here. It's for sea battles. Hmm. Little play mats for the game. This is where you're going to put your crew. This is where you're going to bury all your goods and your loot. And then the different melodies that you collect throughout the game. Alright. And here we've got some tokens. These are tokens that you collect in the game for fish, fear when you win sea battles, gold, and iron ore, and of course, my all time favorite, grog. <laughs> all right, let's see what's in this box. Okay, so you've got your basic standard play turn. So one of the things that they say is that the game is easy to learn, as easy as ABC. Actions, bury, burying your loot, and collecting from the different islands that you're plundering from. And actions consist of sailing, plundering, abandoning, recruiting, and sea battle. And you do up to five on your turn, so you perform five actions. Then you've got these little cards right here. These are lore cards. These are things that you're trying to accomplish. I'd like to think of them as achievements. So you're trying to achieve at least, you know, burying one fear. Different things like that. This one says control three islands that produce multiple loot. And then you get to double your loot collection from it. Steal control from two islands in a single turn. And then you get to sail up to three squares. It's pretty cool. And then there's these little melody cards what they call verses and you get to do different actions on your turn so like this one I can do an additional abandon I can do an additional plunder you can do an additional sale an additional action when I have a fear in my deck so it's pretty cool so all these little things are in the game but that is not all so one thing that's a little unique about this game is the fact that uh, they decided to use like a canvas bag type style. And so in here are little pieces of the map. So they're almost like a tile, but they're canvas style. So if you take a look at that. So each little piece is played out and put out in a certain order. You'll have the main islands, the little green islands. I'll show you one of those. One of these little green islands right there. You'll have all of the starting players end up on them. And then you'll have these other islands that have grog, ore, gold, and fish on them. But that's the unboxing. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Also, please hit that notification icon. You know, we have other videos that we're going to be posting soon. Also, one thing we want to talk about is the charity that we're promoting for the month of March. And that is the Brown House. The Brown House works with the Westlake community in Alabama and helps out with tutoring, with housing, uh, different, different activities and different things that help out in the community. So there's going to be a link down below. We're also doing a giveaway right now in the month of March for a copy of Sorcerer City. 
And if you'd like to join it, just click on that link. And remember, we can gather together at the table for a good cause. Bye.